Hello, so uh, that's good. There's people on from the very beginning of this one. I uh, saw some of the comments from there before I even had the chat window open, so that's good. So, as usual, I will be streaming for about probably an hour. Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. surplus it just means like it's the uh, overall leftover stock kind of thing like so army surplus is kind of extra stuff that wasn't needed if that makes sense or old stuff you know, these are just Ray-Ban ones um, I wear glasses daily but I don't need them for so I'm short-sighted not long-sighted so um you know, like, basically, uh, if I'm reading something on the PC screen, I don't really need them. But if I'm reading something, like, further away than I do, so I'd have them on when I'm driving and everything, but sometimes I just have them on for convenience. No, Weapon Collector doesn't have any uh, knuckle dusters anymore. He had to get rid of them because of, um, you know, like, laws changing. Yeah, it's in the same place in the background all the time. Oh, it's not good morning here, it's good evening. But if it's good morning where you are in the world, good morning. So yeah, at the moment I'm just waiting for the sort of questions to come in as usual. I might send Mike a message in case he didn't get a notification. I don't know if he's going to be around, but... um. That's Weapon Collector for those of you that don't know. I'd consider, ah, oh, that's a good question actually, I'd say probably around 9 or 10 p.m., yeah, because, um, obviously, it's going to depend sunset time, isn't it, depending on the time of year, like sunset at the moment, it's like 4 o'clock, it's really early, um, but yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, Electro, with all these sort of things, is what they do is they basically propose legislation, and then a lot of the time they don't push it through, um, you know, and stuff like that. I would assume so. There's always a delay on the stream, but it will delay the audio and video the same amount. It's according to this, it says my stream health is green, so that should mean that there's no problem with it. Yeah, I've taken the sticker off that because I did a video on it the other day if you saw it. Well, GP5 is fine as a surplus um, mask. The only issue is it, with it is obviously it doesn't take NATO filters. Yeah, well, I should be on Tesla for about an hour. Ten pounds, ten dollars. I 
for a GP5. That's like the regular price, depending if it's got the satchel and everything with it. Yeah, I've um, watched quite a few of Jordan Peterson's videos, but some of the ones I've watched have been on, like, pharmacology and stuff like that, rather than the ones he actually, um, you know, like, the stuff he's more famous for recently is, like, all of the sort of uh, freedom of speech kind of stuff and, um, you know, things like that. But, um, yeah, um, some of his older videos are a lot more interesting as well, where he talks about pharmacology and stuff like that. Yeah, the Polish masks are good. I like the MP5. MP6 looks good, but I don't have one, sadly, because they're not really on the surplus market yet at a sensible price. Yeah, 58 people watching. That's quite a lot tonight. Um, Fallout games, I've played the first two, and what was it, Brotherhood of Steel, was it? The, um, what was it called, Fallout Tactics, something like that. The one that wasn't very good. Um, the isometric ones I'm not a big fan of. I think they're better written games than the modern ones. The issue is that the games haven't aged well at all. Fallout 3 is okay, Fallout New Vegas is very good, Fallout 4 is okay. So New Vegas is my favourite out of all of them. have not played 76, and I will not play 76. Yep, yeah, like or dislike the stream if you want to. Up to you. Don't mind. <laughs> I'm just still wearing the Christmas jumper this week until it gets to the stage where um, I can't wear it again for about a year. No, don't collect precious metals or anything like that. No, I've played Modern Warfare 2. I don't still play it. Uh, the first Modern Warfare was probably my favourite out of all of the Call of Duty games, to be honest. I've been on, if you hover over the start of the video, it will tell you how long the stream's been on for, but I think seven minutes, something like that. Yeah, seven minutes. Forty-four seconds. Something like that. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, US Army canteens are good, but I don't have an official one, so I can't really say. The problem is with a lot of the knockoff canteens, they're made from really bad plastics, and they have, like, really bad O-rings. Well, I doubt so. I doubt it. Uh, Jason, do you know what um, mask it is, though? No, I haven't played Battlefield 1. Don't really know, to be honest. Um, probably one of the very common ones for least favourite. No, Serbian M2F isn't current issue. The Serbian M3 is the current issue one. You had a nice Christmas, thank you, but I'm sort of glad it's over because it means it'll be quieter again for quite a bit. No, that's not an airsoft foul, that's a real one, but it's deactivated. Uh, there's several bows. The big one is a 28 pound recurve bow. Now, as I've said over and over again, I've got no airsoft plans simply because it's really annoying with me. There's no sights that close to me. The closest one only does it on the Sundays when I work Sundays. Um, maybe watch my videos on the M40 for my opinion on it. You know, I'm just saying, that might be a good way of finding out my opinion on something to watch my videos I've done on the subject. If you want my opinion, it's a pretty good mask. Not as good as an S10, but it's good. No, I've never played Magic the Gathering. Is that a card game, or is that a, um, like, old game? Is that, like, one of the Might and Magic ones? I have no idea.
Yeah, car's absolutely fine, no problem with it. Um, I just, as I've said before, silicon lubricant's the best I've found for cleaning masks, but it depends really, you need to get one that's fine on rubber. Alright, Mike? As people keep saying about stuff with masks, it's totally down to if I spot one at a good price that I can get the shipping done easily with, because as I said, I don't trust customs with importing things. Wait for a load more questions to come in at the moment. I'll see if there's any actual video comments to reply to while I wait for some of the comments. Because that's the weird thing with the stream. Sometimes you get loads of questions and you can't keep up with them, and other times nobody really asks a question in a long period. Most I paid for postage, <clears throat> um, I really don't know to be honest. Uh, probably the MUA after the MP5. Yeah, I sent you a message on Twitter as well, Mike, Say uh, just to say I was on if you were on. But, um, yeah, I normally do a stream around this time on a Thursday. Uh, M just means model, basically, in the American system. It's a bit of a silly system, because they, can have, they have, end up having loads of things just called the M1. Overall, like, different things. Britain used to use a Mark system, uh, like Mark 1, Mark 2, kind of stuff like that. Um, China and Japan use like type, type and then a number. No, I feel more tired than some of the streams. I think the Christmas Day stream was more energetic. I did that in the morning, didn't I? Not the evening. I think it just goes up sequentially, like M1, M2, M3. Probably just sold from Lithuania because there's lots stored there and people there want to make some money selling them. They also did XM which meant prototype, um, like I've got the XM28 gas mask, but they sometimes just skip numbers randomly as well. Um, so I don't know why. Also, like, the M249 wasn't built by America, it's just an FN Minimi, but when they put it into service, they gave it an M designation. So there's lots of stuff like that. So, um, the system does not make sense to me at all, in all honesty. I like the SHMS better out of those. Favourite plane from World War II is the Stuka. I used to like some of the really old Vice stuff when they actually did good journalism, but I've noticed a lot of the more modern Vice stuff. I don't know when that particular video you're talking about was made. Um, but, you know, some of their newer videos have definitely been a lot lower in quality, to put it that way. Just gonna finish my coffee quickly so um I'm not constantly you know drinking it during the stream. Yeah, noddy suit's an NBC suit. War dogs. Is that the um that's dog soldiers, isn't it? On the werewolves. I might have seen war dogs, I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, M M M and M's here. Favorite gun from World War Two? Uh, maybe the MG Forty Two. I don't, don't really know to be honest. From World War Two. I've got a Lee Enfield and an M1 carbine. Um, the M1 carbine I like. Not wow, well, no. I do have a guitar. I have both an acoustic and electric, but I don't play them well at all. It's something I haven't even touched in years, so they need restringing and everything. The closest I come to playing an instrument properly is the piano. And I've got a piano over there. Let me just check some of the comments while I'm waiting for the um, thing to load. Not the thing to load, you know what I mean, people to ask questions. Yeah, I've done, well, I've played all the Stalker games on stream, sort of, so of course I like uh, Stalker. No, I'm right handed. There's some things, weirdly, I end up doing left-handed, um, even though I'm primarily right-handed, but for the most part right-handed. Because I know people who do weird things, like they shoot left-handed even though they're right-handed, but um, sometimes when I'm carrying things, for whatever reason, I carry stuff left-handed even though I'm right-handed. Um, in terms of games portraying gas mask, Verdun's the only one I can think that's really accurate. UCP, I'd say, for that mixed footage. Just because UCP being that awful um, grey colour, you know, doesn't really work anyway. No, I don't know that channel if that is a channel. Um, I've done videos on like what the cheapest masks are, the ones I'd recommend, so I just recommend watching those videos. I'm not a fan of the Metro games. The new one looks like it might be alright, but I've never really enjoyed them all that much. Uh, YouTubing since 2012, I think, so that'd be six years, just over six years. Just as I said, going to reply to some of the comments from earlier because I haven't checked the comments in a while while um, I wait for more comments to come in. So you'll hear the li uh, loud typing on the IBM Model M. There's actually no comments that are worth replying to at the moment. So, funny that. Yeah, I've done a video on a homemade mask. It was a bit crap, but it sort of worked. The problem was I couldn't obviously get a working XL valve on it. So it's one of those designs where you had to kind of purge the mask every now and then. What country is that, Gabriel? Because I know there's still quite a few nations that use the foul. Uh, if you've only worn it for five minutes, you'll probably be fine, but don't, um, uh, carry on. Yeah, Brazil still manufactures fowls, don't they? Um, I think they still have the license for it. Is that Imbau? What, what the co uh, company called that makes the fowls over in there? No, I was right, it was Imbau. <laughs> yeah, I spent Christmas with the family, so same as I do every year. Well, they certainly shouldn't have changed away from it before they actually had something decent to replace it with, but... It's antiquated in some ways, but not in ways 
necessarily that make it bad. I think you could probably modernise it quite easily. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. That's in interesting. Uh, because Britain was pressured into changing to 556 like a lot of other NATO countries were. Yeah, it's just a production license. Um, interesting enough, Britain actually got a free production license to make the uh, FAO because apparently it was like a Belgian uh, thank you thing during World War Two. They were given a free production license, which I didn't actually know till I watched a video a while ago. No, I think that's mostly because the AK has been produced in such massive numbers that it's still used everywhere. Now, I mean, battle rifles obviously have longer range, don't they, and things like that. The only advantage I can really think of with assault rifles is that the rifle itself would be a bit lighter and you could carry more ammunition for it. No, I don't do giveaways. Because then you only get people subscribing to you, in my opinion, that are there for the giveaway, not actually for the content you're making. Russia still make variants of the AK. Um, trying to think. North Korea still uses AKs and manufactures them. Now, 308 was also a um, US round, because that's why NATO adopted 762 in the first place. But it was then America that pressured everybody to change calibre because they changed calibre. Now, there's, uh, there were assault rifles prior to the SDG 44. There's technically World War I assault rifles. No, I don't have a German stick grenade. I don't actually have any grenades, sadly. I wouldn't mind getting a few deactivated ones, but they're harder to find sold anywhere. That one back there, funnily enough. Oh, I don't like it because it's a cheek filter mask, but it was a fairly well made cheek filter mask. Yeah, I'm in the UK. England, to be precise, but it doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of a lot of laws, although Scotland's worse in some laws. Oh, the gas mask itself doesn't have sights, it has lenses that you obviously look through. I know the US laws are something to do with having the orange tip on the gun, aren't they? But that's all I actually know in regards to um, the US laws. Yeah, I've said before, I, I find reenactment interesting to watch. Whether or not I do it, I don't know, but there aren't any groups near me anyway, so that will sort of fix that uh, dilemma. Now, as said before, at some point I might do a collab with Weapon Collector, but we've never actually got round to discussing it. We did a stream at one point, like two weeks ago or so, um, two or three weeks ago, where we both did a joint stream, but um, no, I don't have an M1 Grand. And for a lot of the FAQ questions, they're answered in the description, which is why it says read description, so I'm not going to answer anybody that's asking questions that are in the FAQ. It depends if it can handle the pressure, I have no idea, Jason.
Um, I'm assuming you were going to say no. Um, that Shackleton, but um, I know that they used it for ages because it was rechambered for 762 NATO. Because I know you could put the FM foul mags into it. Well, no, because the filter wouldn't work on it. But if you mean would the mask still be airtight, I don't know. Yeah, I have to sort one out at some point. I know since I've been a kid, I've been interested in a lot of military history stuff. Get say gas masks more when I started collecting them but no I haven't seen Fantastic Beasts about 90 masks there or thereabouts because I, as I said I've not got a thing where I keep track of all of them anymore I bought it for my granddad as a Christmas present, but I've not actually seen it myself, so I have to get around to watching it, but he'll probably lend it me when he's watched it. I mean, I'd rather they didn't convert actual Sterlings into Star Wars props after, you know, the original film. You know, due to Sterlings, obviously, there being a finite amount of them. Um, well, I think like K and a lot of the gas mask Reddit kind of things, they either like me or hate me on there, and they seem very divided on their opinion of that, so, um, you know, I don't tend to browse those forums anyway for the most part. I'll have to Google it and see if I've been or not, just give me a minute. It looks familiar, so I may have done when I was much younger, but um, like not at all recently, no. So it's possible I've been to New Haven for, but. I can't remember to be honest. Um, you mean like a ferro rod? I've got um, a ferrocium rod, I think it's technically ferrocium, not magnesium, but if that's what you mean, I've got one or two of those somewhere. Well, in terms of bayonet, not the actual, um, like, fighting knives, Lewis, that would be, um, the, uh, what's it, the Sturmgewehr 57 bayonet, or the ones I own. I'll just get that out quickly. That's this one. So that's like the Swiss bayonet from about the 1950s to the 1980s. Um, I volunteer at an animal shelter, you know, like an animal rehoming sort of place. I've seen power plants, I don't quite know what you mean by that. Um, when pe If you mean prepare for some kind of World War 3 type thing, as I said, I do, I do very basic prepping and that's it, like food and water preps for a couple of weeks. What, you mean like the M16 bayonets from um, Vietnam? Because there's so many of them about. No idea. I'm not psychic.
Oh, they were caused by problems in nuclear power plants. Um, do you mean air rifles or deactivated guns or what? I've got two air rifles. Um, then if you're including airsoft guns, deactivated guns, things like that, it's probably about seven or eight, I guess. Um, Stalker 2, I'm not going to get super excited for it, because I don't think it's got a lot of the same people working on it that made the original Stalkers. I'd like to be optimistic, but I really don't know at this stage. All the stuff I've got is perfectly legal, Gabriel. I've done Ben Nevis and Snowden. I'll do them again at some point, but more people watch the webcam ones than I do, and that's the only reason I'm back up to doing these at the moment. Um, a bit too restrictive, Pablo, but I don't think it would work well if we had laws like America either. Um, that's not to say I'd change any of the laws actually in America, if that makes sense. But I don't think if we adopted those laws in the UK overnight it would be a good idea. Yeah, I know Tiger Stripe, but I've not got any. Now it's deactivated. Up until 1980-something, you were able to um, have live one of those. Um, but then they um, there was the uh, Hungerford Massacre, and that's when they banned all the semi-autos. There's not really many hills near me, that's the reason I've not done many. I, I go walking now and again, but it's mostly quite flat where I live, so there's not loads. Do you mean like the modern Flectarn that's um, that colour, or do you mean the old World War II style one? If it was a reproduction, then it wouldn't have an old asbestos filter, would it? So, I don't quite get what you're asking of that. I think the army surplus um, near me had some trop and tom, whatever it's called there, in at some point, like desert fleck tom. Um, but I didn't really have any need for it because there's not many places near me that would actually blend in. Um, I really like Rhodesian brushstroke, but sadly the repros of it are very expensive, so um, I've not got any. I've got a camo that's kind of similar, that's like a lizard style pattern somewhere that I've done a video on. That's quite a good camo, but I don't have any, sadly, any real Rhodesian bush stroke, uh, or brush stroke even. Um, I don't know if the actual M17 was, but lots of clones are made by different companies and like countries. Like all the Warsaw Pact um, cheek filter masks, and I think Japan used a cheek filter mask at one point. Um, at the moment, no, Lewis. There's a couple of masks I'd get if I saw them at good prices, but it's more the factor at the moment, although obviously space is a limiting factor. The main issue for me as well is just, you know, I only buy things when they're at sensible prices. Right, enjoy going back to work then. <laughs> Do 
I already said what my thoughts are on the GP5. It was a perfectly functional mask, but it's not very practical as a prepper's mask, but whatever, because you can't put NATO filters on it, so you need to buy FP5 filters or similar if you actually want to use it. Uh, the furniture's alright, I guess. The meatballs are nice. Um, I find the shop absolutely hell to go in, though. Um, with kind of how it's all laid out and how busy it is. It's like a nightmare. Uh, without adding them all up, I don't know how many World War II masks I have. I have a couple of World War II... I have, I think, four... Uh, three World War II German masks, World War II Finnish masks, quite a few World War II British masks. I have quite a few, but... Um, 545 actually performed better for a very long time than 556 simply because they did that um, like little pocket in the top of the bullet, didn't they? Like the air pocket, which meant it would tumble when it hit flesh, but it would actually penetrate solid cover quite well, which was um, pretty innovative. No, because if a rebreather had an exhale valve, it would just be like a regular mask. The whole point of a rebreather is that the exhale valve goes back into the same pipe. So generally there's two pipes, so if you consider it an exhale valve, one will go to the, you know, one side of the bladder, the other goes, the intake pipes on the other side of the bladder. Depends how you set it up, but in theory, no, it doesn't have an exhale valve as you'd think of an exhale valve, at least not into the air. As for 7.62x39mm, I think that's kind of outdated, because obviously it's not as powerful as 7.62 NATO. Um, and it's not got as flat trajectory as something like 5.56 or 5.45. Uh, rebreathers are dangerous if you mess about with an old one, especially if you get water in it or something like that, but they're not inherently dangerous. I just wouldn't mess about with one myself. If you're trained properly and you've got a modern serviced one, they're perfectly fine. That's cool. <laughs> Don't know how you'd ask me for advice though on um, buying sort of firearms or whatever. Where in the UK I can't even uh, get any. It looks very cool though. So that's a Polish pistol, is it? I'm just looking it up now. I do like those like Wolfer PPK and other little small compact pistols, I think they look quite nice. Well, a scuba set isn't a rebreather, if it's um, scuba as in like with the air tank then that's an air supplied respirator, not a rebreather. I do have a Japanese gas mask, didn't you bother watching a video on it? Uh, hello Richard. Yeah, I imagine, like you're saying, 9x18mm is probably a lot cheaper than getting a topper of ammo. In terms of, like, bulk of surplus stuff and probably new manufactured ammunition. Yeah, my Christmas was fine, but I'm sort of glad it's over, just because obviously it's a really busy and exhausting time of year, to be honest. With both, like, work and, um, you know, like, just the social thing of having to put up with everybody at Christmas. It's nice to see your family, but at the end of the sort of period, you're sort of thinking, oh, I wish it would end. <laughs> I 
Right, I'll definitely stream for another five to ten minutes, but I don't know if I'm going to do the full hour. Um, because I've never seen them for sale, Nolan. Basically. Isn't that basically just a Galil, though? Um, the South African rifle. Yeah, it's a Galil. I think the Galil's pretty good, but I like AKs in general, so guns that improve upon the AK design, you know, I like, like Valmets or whatever they're called, the Finnish AKs. That's cool, yeah. I obviously like collecting this stuff as well, just after a while it starts taking up too much space. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if obviously if you're buying it in the US or somewhere and it's cheaper than the Galil, fair enough, but um, because the C3 is like the only Canadian gas mask that ever turns up to, for sale on the surplus market, C4s are pretty rare. Favourite game ever is Oddworld Abe's Exodus, back from 1998 or something like that. Some Something like that. On the PS1 and PC. One of my favourite shooters though ever was the Time Splitters series, Time Splitters Future Perfect I really liked and I streamed all of that on my channel not too long ago so the videos are up if you actually want to watch those streams. That's cool. How are you going to look after it so it doesn't deteriorate? Now, there's probably loads of countries I don't have gas masks from. Bear in mind, if I've got 90-something masks, and lots of those masks are like British, American, um, you know, European countries' masks... There are 195 countries in the world, apparently. Um, so, or 201 with partial recognition and 204 to 207 um, de facto sovereign states. So, yeah, there's lots of countries I don't have masks from. Yeah, that's fair enough, Mike, I'll watch your film again then tonight, thanks for letting me know, because obviously I, sometimes I'm not sure if you're going to be streaming a lot, so I leave it quite late before watching a film. Tell you what I um, did watch though, Mike, the other day, I watched, um, what's it, Once Upon a Time in the West again the other day, because I've been meaning to re-watch that for ages since I re-watched the Dollars Trilogy, but I kept putting it off because it's like 2 hours and 40 minutes long or something, isn't it? So it was only yesterday I finally thought, right, Christmas is over, I'm going to, um, you know, when I get up tomorrow on Boxing Day, I'm going to watch um, Once Upon a Time in the West and actually sit through all of it again and watch it in one sitting. And it's a brilliant film, isn't it? But I think it's the best of Leone's westerns, but um, because it's such a long film, I don't really have the patience to sit down and watch it um, all that often. I'd love to get a Canadian C4, as I've said before, but um, they're quite hard to find. At least at sensible prices. You know, people snap them up pretty quickly if they see one for less than a hundred pounds or whatever for sale. Uh, unless there's any on eBay, I don't know, because my 
when you mean blanking plugs, my CT12 came with the blanking plug for the side when it's not in use, and my um, Forshida came with a blanking plug to seal it when it was like you know in new condition, and then you took the thing off obviously to put a new filter on. So unless you get one with a mask, I don't really know how you're going to get one. Uh, favourite helmet, as in one I haven't got that I'd like to get? It's a good question, actually. I have to have a think about that. Let me just Google modern helmets, and I'll tell you one I um, really like the design of. Other than, like, the Russian ones, as I said before, where if I knew I could get a legitimate one, then I'd really want one, but, um, you know, I don't trust most of them to be, um, genuine that are online. It's so not a modern helmet, but I'd love to get a full-on Salé helmet at some point, or a Salette, however it's pronounced. Yeah, £44 for an FM12 Plus accessories is very good, if it's in working condition. They're not actually spare lenses, they're anti-fog inserts, but yeah, due to the age, they're often all um, useless. That's pretty cool. Were they like the mining rebreathers, where they're just like little um, canisters and little nose plugs? Because I've seen those before. I think the idea is that they give you a couple of hours worth of air, don't they? So people can dig you out if it collapses. No, you're only going to get a few pounds for a GP5. They're not worth much at all. Uh, it depends what model of Gorka suit it is and if it's in good condition or not. Because um, Gorka suits go for a massive price range, depending on which generation they are and stuff like that, so no idea if that's a good or bad price. Anyway, um, if I get any more questions I'll answer those, but otherwise I'm going to end the stream pretty soon because I'm feeling fairly tired today. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, don't particularly know. Some filters as well, Rich, it's so, um, you can basically, um, like some of the Soviet ones had this, where it was designed so you could put a pre-filter in front, front of the filter, so, um, if you were in, like, tear gas or something like that, you wouldn't clog a big filter up quickly. Um, I don't know if it's related to that sort of thing, but with some filters it was so you could put additional kind of, like, pre-filters on them. Uh, in World War One, they were quite advanced with gas masks. In World War Two, they were sort of advanced, but most of their masks they were advanced in the sense they were forty millimeter, not so much in some of the other design uh, things of them. Um, during the Cold War, I don't think they were that innovative. Draeger made a couple of good masks, but they used the M sixty five for absolutely ages. Um, so yeah, yes and no, Germany at points has been very advanced and masked at other points, no. Um, well, I said I have no idea what the price should be on a Gorka suit, so I'm afraid I can't help you with that. And I have no idea which um, Mitchell helmet. Do you mean the Mitch helmet? Like as in a um, Pascot style helmet? Depends what you mean by some of the East German stuff is laughably bad. Most of the East German surplus I've got is pretty good hard wearing stuff, so which East German stuff don't you like?
Now, I don't have a PO box and anywhere between 30 and 60 pounds or dollars for an FM12 really depending if it's got accessories with it or the condition it's hard to put an exact price on them I've got um, an M88 style helmet if you mean like normal Pascot helmets they're pretty damn good helmets because they're sort of style helm shaped but made of Kevlar Um, you're going to probably struggle to find replacement lenses for a World War II mask. Um, well, I don't want to test old masks just due to the age of them, where I don't want to break some of them. I think sometimes you can get French M51 masks or um, Polish MC1 masks or sometimes Czech CM3 masks cheaper than the GP5 but in general the GP5 is the cheapest mask in the world at the moment yeah just because they made over a hundred million of the things so uh, obviously there's a big surplus of them anyway I'll end the stream there just because I said um, I'm feeling fairly tired and I've been getting quite a lot of repetitive questions this stream so when I generally when I get a stream where all the questions have been like quite interesting questions, it keeps me more alert, but when you keep getting what's your favourite gas mask and all stuff like that, what's that rifle? You know, all the stuff like that, um you know, ends up uh, wearing you down a bit faster. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Um stream on Monday as usual. Um I might stream a game again at some point if dunno. I'll I'll see on the night what I feel like doing to be honest.